Hello. Hopefully you can see me, it's 25 to 9 at night. It's light-ish, but we've got some rain coming. Never mind, it is summer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a relatively short video um, while I roll a fag and put my socks on. Um, just come out of the shower, shaved me head ball today. Feels lovely. Yeah, so a relatively short video. Um, and somebody keenly asked me, is Transcendental Meditation worth it? And it is on a, a psychological level, it is on a spiritual level, it is on a level if you want to really be very peaceful and calm and just at one and at peace, and then yes, it's very, very much worth it. Transcendental Meditation. Um, Financially, no. What's happened, there's an organisation now, isn't there? The TM organisation. So instead of calling it Transcendental Meditation, we call it TM. Um, anyway, they've got practitioners, teachers and experts, okay? I shouldn't really knock them because if anybody's paid a lot of money to them, then they'd be singing their praises because they're embarrassed. Um, and as human nature, because we're embarrassed that we've been conned, then we say, oh, no, no, yeah, they're fantastic. So, what is it? Well, TM, Transcendental Meditation. Um, basically, it's, um, it was a Buddhist-type meditation. The Maharaji used it and all the rest of it. Um, and a few years back now, some men in suits with money saw it as Transcendental Meditation TM. TM stands for trademark. And they wondered, could we trademark this? Who owns this phrase, Transcendental Meditation? Turns out nobody really owned it. So they put a trademark on it and it became theirs. They started an organization and started charging people a ridiculous amount of money. Currently in the UK, I believe it's 1,900 pound to learn how to do transcendental meditation, the easiest meditation in the world. And they promise secrets. It's so expensive, they say, come with us and we'll give you secrets and stuff like that. I know what their secrets are, you know. Um, I haven't done transcendental meditation for uh, quite a while, actually, a number of years now. I will do it. I will start doing it tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I'll do it for 30 days. I think everybody should do it for 30 days and see how they feel. So 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night for 30 days and we'll see how we get on with it. Now you pay a lot of money, £1,900, and no, it's not worth it. I think meditation is something that's been handed down by ultimately our ancestors and therefore it's free, you know. We shouldn't be paying for something that's within us anyway. And of course, we got the ability to teach ourselves this TM technique. So what is it? Well, it's an easy form of meditation. Basically, what it is, um, you pay a lot of money to them and they go there. One of their secrets is that they give you a mantra to use. Now, I did have a look before making this video. I went online very quickly. And the very first thing I found, I just typed in um, mantras. And this whole list of mantras come out and it's um, it's all free on there obviously but this TM organization they use it I presume from there but they say oh what sex are you and what age are you oh okay and then they have a look on there you know in your um, your mantra maybe Shirim maybe if you're a female age 32 to 35 Shirim um, now they, they charge a lot of money, they charge nearly two grand and they say they will carry on looking after you and stuff like that and they do at a price. So what they do, they give you something like Shurim as your mantra, you, it doesn't really work for you and you phone them up in a couple of weeks time and they make it sound all very convoluting, oh okay well uh, what year were you born and uh, you know all this stuff. 
And then just out of his head, he gives you another mantra um, at the price of 275 quid. So the whole idea of um, TM, um, Transcendental Meditation, is that you use a mantra over and over and over again that replaces any thoughts that might come into your head. Whereas most meditation, you just sit quietly, you don't really have any thoughts, but you try and stop the thoughts coming in. So with this, this you, you repeatedly say it over and over and over again, only in your mind, just quietly. Um, but you just repeatedly say it for like the whole of the 20 minutes, or even an hour, whatever you want really, you know. So therefore you don't get any thoughts because you're just concentrating only on this mantra, this word or this set of sounds or whatever it is. But the best way of getting a mantra is to make your own up. They tell you in TM organisation, don't tell anybody what your mantra is because it will take away the power and the energy from your mantra. You know, they make it sound very, very special. Even if they just made it up on the phone to you two seconds earlier, don't tell anybody. You know, and it doesn't matter what you use as a mantra. A mantra could be anything. Um, I would say a three-syllable type mantra is better. And also something ending with OM, if you can. And see how you get on with that. So you could have um, Sri La Om, Sri La Om, Sri La Om, Sri La Om. Um, something like that. If the she reminds you of females all the time... Um, change it because you don't want to be thinking about anything it's just a nonsensical mantra so she la does la no la is fine that shouldn't remind you of anything and then the arm as we know it's just a universal sound um so get rid of the she um pali om pali om um it could be anything couldn't it really Sh um say ni om say ni om say ni om or if you like something that kind of rhymes, so um, Sham Di Om, Sham Di Om, Sham Di Om, whatever. And you just say that repeatedly over and over and over again, only in your mind, not, you don't verbalise it, for the entire process of the um, meditation, the TM, Transcendental Meditation. Um, now, with Transcendental Meditation, unlike others, you can sit kind of however you want, as long as you're comfortable. Or you could even lay down. It makes no odds. Uh, you don't have to wear any robes. You don't have to do anything in particular, really, for it. It's a very, very simplistic form of meditation, and therefore it shouldn't be charged for. Now, you've got the likes of... Um, I saw this on when I was looking this morning for mantras. Um, Somebody called Ellen Generous or something, I don't know who that is, but Oprah Winfrey, people with money that can afford to lose it, they're singing the praises of the TM organisation and the TM technique. Because they've got thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars to lose, it doesn't really matter to them. But there's a lot of ordinary people that have spent, you know, two, three thousand pounds, and they're on there singing the praises as well, out of embarrassment. You know, so... In a nutshell, that's it. You know, that's my answer. Is TM worth it? Yes, on a spiritual level, on a meditation level, it's also worth it. Financially, don't pay for any meditation. Don't do it. Somebody who makes videos last year said she paid £400 for a two-day thing um, to learn how to meditate and came away and couldn't meditate. And um, I, I said, what sort of meditation was it? She didn't even know. They didn't tell her. Anyway, I found out what it was, and um, I said to her, give me a ring. So she gave me a ring, and I taught her it in two minutes over the phone. She now meditates, you know. Don't pay. Don't pay. Ridiculous. But I think it's a con to charge that amount of money, or any money, really. Anyway, if you want to know any more about the TM technique. Um, you know, I can tell you more and stuff like that. I will be doing a 30-day challenge, if you like, starting tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to choose my mantra tonight. I will choose my mantra. When you choose a mantra, um, something personal for you, it does take on a spiritual sacred element because you use it over and over and over again, many thousands of times, perhaps in each meditation. 
and you use it for a number of years while you're doing this 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. So of course it does become a very, very important set of sounds to you. So as long as you're comfortable with it, stick with it, you know. Choose something nice, something for you, and it will become sacred. So my mantra, whether I go for two or three, I don't know, um, or whether I go for an om at the end or not, I might go for Sri La, to Sri La, and then what, what you do in your mind, Sri La, Sri La, Sri La, Sri La, like that, and you just do that over and over and over again. And it kind of sounds ridiculous, but it, it works. You know, it is a proven technique, it is a good technique, and I wish that, I wish people hadn't trademarked it, I wish people weren't making a lot of money on it, because there's no need. You know, I would like to live in a free world, really, you know. Come to me, I'll teach you it, and then you make me a cup of Slurpee. We're, we're done, we're quit in, you know, that's it. So very simple. But yeah, so that's the answer then, no, is, um, no, don't pay. Don't pay for any type of meditation. And don't think TM is a special, special meditation. It's one of the easiest in the world. I did this today. Okay. Take care. Be well.